Okay, so first of all, I'm going to insert this flow chart shape here to make the bottom of my pot. Then to make the top of the pot, I'm going to use the rectangle with rounded corners shape and draw it over the top here and have it slightly overlapping. Then I'm going to select this shape and hold down control and select the other shape to select them both at the same time and go to align and align center to make sure the bottom part of the shape is lining up with the top part of the shape. Then I'm going to go to align again and align to slide then go back to align and align center again, this time making sure the shape is in the center of the slide. Then I'm going to go to merge shapes and union to change these two shapes into one combined shape. Then go to shape outline and say no outline and change the shape fill to a light peach color. Now I want this shape to have a shadow underneath the lip of the pot. So I'm going to do this using a rectangle and draw it out under here. And then use the up arrow key on the keyboard to line it up with the lip of the pot. Just move up one more time. Okay, then I'm going to take this shape here and press Ctrl D to duplicate it, then move it to the side so it's out of the way, then select both of these shapes down here using Ctrl and go to Merge Shapes and Intersect. This creates a shape out of the two previous shapes where they overlapped. So I now have a rectangle with slanted sides and the slanted sides match the slanted sides of my plant pot up here. Now I'm going to change this to a slightly darker peach and then take this shape over here and this is why we made a copy of the shape because the original shapes get destroyed when you merge them together and send this to the back and then line these up. Now I also want this pot to have a shadow on it. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool to do this and then slide the rectangle tool across until I reach the center using the guide lines to find the center, then select the pot again and press Ctrl D to duplicate it and move this copy out of the way, then select the rectangle and this shape down here using Ctrl and go to merge shapes and intersect. And now I have a shape here, which is exactly one half of the shape up here. Then remove the shape outline and change the shape fill to black. Open up the shape styles and change the transparency to 90%. And this turns it into a shadow. Then I can move this pot back down here and send it to the back and then line it up with the other shapes. And now I have my plant pot with a shadow. My next step is to make the leaves. So go to basic shapes and select the oval shape. Then hold down shift while drawing the shape to make it into a perfect circle by locking the aspect ratios. Then while the shape is still selected, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and then use the guidelines to line it up and drag it to the side until the two shapes only slightly overlap. Then hold down control and select the other shape as well and go to merge shapes and intersect. And this creates a leaf like shape here where the two circles overlapped. Remove the shape outline and change the shape fill to a light green color. Then hold down shift while making the leaf bigger to lock the aspect ratios of this shape. I also want this here to have a 
darker shadow. So I'm going to move the leaf into the middle of the slide. Then get a rectangle and line this up with the center of the shape using the guidelines. Then press the select the shape here and press Control D to duplicate it and move it out of the way. Then select this shape here and this one here and go to Merge Shapes and Intersect. And then remove the shape outline from this and change the shape fill to a dark green and line these two shapes up over here and send this one to the back. Then select both shapes and press Control G to group them. And then we'll move the leaf down here so it's sitting in the plant pot. Press Control D to duplicate this and rotate the copy slightly to the side and then hold down Shift while decreasing its size slightly. Press Control D again to make another copy and rotate this one round in the opposite direction and line it up over here. Then I'm going to select this shape here and use the upwards arrow key to move this slightly upwards. Then use Control to select all the components of the plant pot and bring them to the front to hide the bottom of the leaves. And now I have made my first potted plant. I'm going to click and drag to select everything and then move this to the side and start making the second potted plant. This time I want the pot to be round, so I'm going to use the oval from Basic Shapes and hold down Shift while drawing the circle to lock the aspect ratio and make it a perfect circle. Then I want to make the top and the bottom flat, so get a rectangle and draw it over the top of the circle so they overlap slightly. And then select the circle first, hold down control and select the rectangle. And this time it actually matters which order I select the shapes in because I'm going to go to merge shapes and subtract and it removes the top of the circle. I also want to do this to the bottom. So make another rectangle down here and get it to slightly overlap with the circle. And because I want to take this shape here and remove the part of it which is overlapping with the rectangle, I have to select the circle first, then hold down control and select the rectangle second because I am using the rectangle to do the subtracting. Then go to Merge Shapes and Subtract. And now I have the shape for the second plant pot. Remove the shape outline and change the shape fill to a light peach colour. I also want this to have a darker strip going across it. So get another rectangle and draw a thin rectangle across it. Select this shape and press Ctrl D to duplicate it and move the copy out of the way. Select these two shapes here using Control and go to Merge Shapes and Intersect. And now I have this rectangle here with slanted sides. Change this to a darker peach colour. Move this back over here and send it to the back and then line these shapes up. I also want this shape here to have a shadow, so I'm going to move it to the centre of the slide. I'll go to Align and Align to Slide and then Align Centre. Then draw the rectangle and slide this along till you find, use the grid lines to find the centre. It's a little bit harder now to use the grid lines because there's so many shapes on the slide. It's trying to line up with everything. But I prefer when cutting shapes in half to put the shape in the center of the slide because then you can use the grid lines 
to find where the exact center of the shape is because it will be where the center of the slide is. Now I need another copy of this, so press Ctrl D to duplicate it and move the copy out of the way. Then select this shape here and hold down Ctrl and select the rectangle and go to Merge Shapes and Subtract because I want the shadow to still be on this side. Go to Shape Fill and change it to black, open up Shape Styles and change the transparency to 90% to make the shadow. Then take the copy over here and move it back and then send this to the back and line it up with the other shapes. I'm also going to move the shadow here to the front because I need the shadow to also be over the top of the dark peach strip. Then select all of this and move it down here and line it up with the other shape. Now I'm going to make a stem for, for my plant and select a rectangle here and draw a thin rectangle down the middle of the shape and remove the shape outline and change the shape fill to a light green color and I think I'm going to make this a little skinnier then select one of the leaves over here and press ctrl D to duplicate it move it over here and then make it smaller rotate it round and line it up with the stem. I'm going to use the arrow keys to do this. Once you've got the shape lined up, select it, hold down control and click and drag to make another copy of the shape. Then go to rotate and flip horizontally. I am doing this because I want the shadow of the leaf to stay on the bottom. Then move it over here and hold down shift to lock the aspect ratio of the leaf while making it a little bit bigger. Then take this shape here and hold down control while dragging it down to make another copy hold down shift and make a slightly bigger leaf. Then do the same thing on the other side and make this one slightly bigger as well. And then one more time, hold down control while dragging the shape down. Then hold down shift while making it bigger to lock the aspect ratio. Then I'm also going to select the stem and send this to the back so the bottom of the stem is hidden behind the plant pot. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to make two potted plants in PowerPoint and that is everything.